Rehash that in the same city. Speaking of cities, England, they began this tournament by beating Tunisia in Volgograd. Now, that is a city that during World War II hosted a battle of a very different kind of one we hope to never see again. Here's our National Geographic reporter, Sergei Gordeyev. I would not have believed such an inferno would open up on Earth. Men died, but they did not retreat. So said Russian General Vasily Chukov about the Battle of Stalingrad. His opponents felt the same way. Stalingrad is hell on earth, one German soldier wrote. There is no way out, nor will there be a way out. Retreat was forbidden. Defeat, unthinkable. Victory was attainable, but at a cost unmeasurable. Lasting for five months, one week, and three days, the Battle of Stalingrad was the single largest and bloodiest battle in the history of warfare. It took the lives of two million people and turned the tide of World War II. Stalingrad was an industrial center with key strategic access to the Soviet oil fields. It also bore the name of the Soviet commander-in-chief. In August of 1942, the German 6th Army attacked the city, resulting in fierce urban combat that eventually pushed the Soviet army back to the Volga. But the defenders of Stalingrad would yield no further ground. In November of 1942, the Soviets launched the counterattack that encircled the Germans, sealing their fate. Senselessly ordered by Hitler to fight to the last man, the German army held out for more than two months until, starving and exhausted, they surrendered. The defeat marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. Over a million Russians laid down their lives here in these fields, paying the ultimate sacrifice to defend their homeland and the free world. This victory was among the costliest in history. But, as Winston Churchill once said, without victory, there is no survival. And our friends at National Geographic have provided us with some amazing content throughout this tournament. Tomorrow, we're going to show you the best of all their features throughout this World Cup. Also coming your way tomorrow, France and Croatia meeting for the right to lift the most prestigious trophy.